One of the major issues faced by every entrepreneur is to change the way decisions are made. Too often entrepreneurs get comfortable doing things the way they've always been done rather than building a modern management system. My name is Jason Sutton. I'm one of the owners of Hughes Oilfield Transportation. Um, we're a small hotshot company that transfers oilfield tools to the field. Um, I've been in business since 2000. I have 25 employees and I run 150 trucks with drivers. We started the business in 2000. We had been leased to another company since 74 and when we started the business we literally just took everything that we had been doing and just put our name on it because we didn't have any other idea of how to do it. And I was in business about a year and a half when I decided maybe I needed some help to decide whether I was going to be able to stay or not. And you all came in at that time and you helped me formulate um, prices, you helped me decide how to go forward with the business, what I needed to be watching, what I didn't need to be watching. And from then until now, I think we've been, I've had you in a number of times over the last 20 years, and you've grown my business from eight trucks to 150. Before we had the consultants come in, we had no cash management plan at all. Um, and being a dispatcher at the time, my job was to dispatch trucks to cover jobs. When I couldn't cover jobs, I decided I needed more trucks. Without a cash management plan, I just hired trucks without thinking of the consequences. Um, at one point, Barbara took a vacation and we doubled the size of our fleet. By the time she came back, our cash was suffering. And after that, we determined that we needed the consultants to set up a cash management plan so that we could forecast and prepare for hiring more trucks and more equipment to cover the workload. Before the consultants come in, our management style was, was pretty free. Uh, we kind of went from our gut or how we felt or how it had always been done before. Um, we, well, after bringing the consultants in, they set up a management plan with over a dozen key indicators uh, that we monitor mostly on a daily basis, some on weekly or monthly basis. Um, but using those key indicators, we can hold the employees accountable to their metrics or their measurements. Um, we can identify bottlenecks and constraints. In the, in the process flow, and we can focus on, on productivity and increasing productivity, which ultimately leads to the profitability of the company. One of the advantages of having an outside consultant come in and, and take a look at your process flows, and that is that they can have a, an objective idea and point of view, and so they can help you uh, identify bottlenecks or constraints in certain processes that you may not see on the surface. Uh, one example would be mailing out our invoices. We were mailing once a week and, and just with them coming in and, and giving us the idea to mail every day, that increases, that gets the invoice to the customer quicker and gives us our payment faster, which increases cash flow. At one point we brought Kimberly Mariani in. She's a tax attorney for the company and she set us up with a whole tax plan and she saved us over $100,000 with her plan. She also did an asset protection plan, which keeps my company safe in case something was to happen. Um, Kimberly's great to work with. She's very intelligent and she's really, really a nice lady. Before the consultants came in, everything we did was basically from a ground level perspective, daily operations and what we do today. Um, after the consultants came in and we established a management plan and some of the process flows, that allowed us to get a, a higher 10,000 foot view and clarified some of our decisions, removed the fogginess from, from the business and allowed us to make more informed decisions and, and made me a better manager. Because of what the company has done when they came, they've come in and helped us, Jason has all the tools that he needs to be able to run the company. And I have the peace of mind knowing that he can run the company and I don't have to be here. I have the option of retiring when I want to retire, although I'm not ready to do that yet. I can go and play and do what I want and the company still runs and runs well.